if your baby's sleeping in the miracle blanket, um, what we'd recommend doing um, is putting them into the weight of sleeping bag, which you're going to use um, you know, over the next couple of months. So it might be a little bit lighter weight then at the moment uh, because you've got the miracle blanket over the top. Or you can vary the amount of clothing inside the bag so it's not too hot. So basically, first of all, you're just getting your baby used to having quite a lot more leg room. So if you see, a sleeping bag has got lots more room around the hips, more length, just more floppy than a miracle blanket. So my advice would be, first of all, just use your miracle blanket as you are. Arms pinned down, wrap across the tummy and wrap around. So that's why you can see it's, it's going to be quite snug because you've got your miracle blanket layers and your sleeping bag layers. So that's why you might want to start with a more of a sort of summer weight or mid weight sleeping bag rather than still a winter weight. So you can see the only difference is you're not putting your baby's feet in the leg pouch. So I would do that for a week or so. It depends how, um, how urgently you want to make the change but you know things with babies generally if you fairly gradual they'll go more smoothly. So then your next step would be to just wrap one arm out like that Hi. and then carry on and wrap across. So it's the same process you'd use if you're just weaning off the miracle blanket by itself but at the same time um, you're getting into getting, getting your baby used to the sleeping bag. And for a lot of people at that time they would introduce something to do with this hand so rather than just wave around and <laughs> smack themselves in the face it's, it can be a good time to introduce a little comforter like a kuski um, for your baby to, to snuggle up with. And then once um, your baby's used to that one arm out, at that stage you could either drop the swaddle altogether or you could, um, you know, just have another week maybe of just firm wrapping around the tummy. Or a lot of people at that age would swap to using a safety sleep. And so for me, a safety sleep and a sleeping bag is a very good combination because you get this nice snug swaddling feeling that babies are used to plus they're safe and have plenty of room in their sleeping bag so I hope that answers your question Cherie um, just allow yourself plenty of time a good two or three weeks um, or even longer I think with my youngest he probably was in that combination of miracle blanket and sleeping bag for probably two months you know some more some days and um, and then got to the point where he just went straight into a sleeping bag at night <laughs>